Hello everyone, welcome back to the another lecture. So in this lecture, we will talk about MATLAB simulation of constant voltage mode. In the previous class, we have seen what are the different modes available for charging the battery. What are the different topologies available for charging the battery. Now, I have told you that we will use the buck converter, one non-isolated converter to charge our battery. And with this topology, we will simulate all the mode, right? So, in this video, we will simulate the constant voltage mode. So, let's get started with this video. So, my name is Ashish and let's get started. So, what is the block diagram for constant voltage mode? So, simple buck converter I have taken. I have my DC supply voltage available. I have my two switches. Only a uh, simple small parasitics I have added here RL, then my inductance, then capacitance, and then my battery. Right? So, battery from the battery, what are the different uh, things we will get from battery? I will know what is its percentage SOC, what is its uh, state of charge, how much percent my battery is charged. I know about the battery terminal voltage, I have represented it by V battery. And I am know about the I battery, okay, battery current. So this thing I know. Now, what is the control block diagram I am going to use? So I just need the V battery constant reference voltage. So I have to provide the constant reference voltage that at what value of the voltage I need to charge my battery. I wanted to charge my battery and I will take a actual battery voltage. I will sensed from here and I will give it as a feedback. Then I will use my one PI controller, one PI controller enough and then I have my PWM generator which generate the PWM signals and I will give it to my both the uh, gates, switch 1 and switch 2. So these two gate pulses I am going to give to my two switches, right. So this is a basic control block diagram. Now uh, how to tune the PI controller that is very important thing. So how to tune the PI controller that is very important thing. So let's get go into the next slide. So typical controller parameter. Okay. So this slide, this is from my information. There may be the someone will tune the controller of the battery charger maybe in a different way. But uh, this is the thumb rule I follow and that is what I am going to tell you. So. Uh, I have my PI controller, so my KD value, I will keep it as 0, right? Then about the proportional gain, so KP, so typically lower than the current control mode, okay, to ensure the smooth voltage control. So KP value, we have to keep it as low when I am in my constant voltage mode. And if I talk about the KI, integral gain, so higher than the constant current mode. So this value is higher. So what you have to keep in your mind when you tune the controller for constant voltage mode you have to keep your proportional gain less and integral gain high. What value I generally preferred when I do the simulation for constant voltage mode. So generally I take the KP value from 0.01 to 0.1 okay and what is the KI value I take I will take the KI value from 0.05 to 0.5. So I will take the KP value as less as possible in between this range and I will take the KI value uh, in between this range as high as possible to minimize the steady state error. So when you do design you have to just uh, a small error and trial you have to do. You have to use this value start with this value and start with this value and then uh, increase it gradually and uh, the time when you get the accurate result that is your actual uh, simulation values okay so this is the way i tune the controller you can use 1000 2000 value also uh, some people try with those value but this is my thumb rule i will go with these values generally when i do the simulation okay so you can follow me and you can also use the same values so now next thing is uh, i will just quickly take you through uh, matlab simulation and uh, then uh, we will uh, see what is there so I will take you to the script file first. So this is my script file for constant voltage mode. So I have taken my VDC battery volt uh, VDC that is the DC supply voltage as 400 volt. My switching frequency as 65 kilohertz. I have choose one battery whose uh, 
battery voltage is 72 volt and uh, I battery ampere hour is 106 rated capacity is 106 so based on this this is I guess uh, 5 6, seven, uh, 6 or 7 kilowatt battery okay I wanted to charge this battery with this available DC voltage 400 volt okay and I am going to use my buck converter now I have initially keep uh, the state of charge of battery as 85 percent because I am not going to run my simulation for entire time so I have started with state of charge I am assuming that my battery is charged 85 percent and now I am going to charge it so I will charge it for very small duration this is the MATLAB simulation so I wanted to show you that okay battery is charging state of charge is increasing after that uh, some ripple I have considered and uh, uh, based on that I have calculated the L and C value okay so how this L and C value are come so you try with the buck converter only how we sim how we do for buck converter and uh, just uh, increase that value uh, up to some particular level okay so that you will get a uh, very less ripple in the output so this is my uh, parameter set for my constant current MATLAB simulation now I will take you to the uh, simulation file and there we will simulate it and we will see whether this will work or not so uh, here we are in our uh, MATLAB file so the same structure whatever I have shown you the same thing I have uh, 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 listed out here okay that is only I have drawn now you see the battery you will just type the battery you will get the battery from here so this is a uh, battery will get this is I guess not the battery which I am expecting so uh, just I will write it down the battery that is I need a electrical specialized power system battery so this is my battery what is there inside the battery so if you open it you will get the type of battery which type of battery you want to charge okay lithium ion battery so many batteries are there lithium ion battery lead acid battery and all then uh, basically nominal voltage so I have shown you that what is the nominal voltage of the battery then ampere hour rated capacity of the battery then how much my battery is initially charged so that thing I have written down here and by battery response time generally I keep it as one second you can uh, keep it one second two second or ten second that is up to you okay so this is the way we will uh, uh, put the parameters and whatever the input we are going to give here based on that automatically this discharge block will calculate the things for the simulation okay so it is calculated automatically based on the parameter which we are provided here okay so this is about the battery block so I, this is just maybe new for you that is why I have just told you so here uh, what parameter I have said so I have V battery which is coming from the script file uh, 72 I battery SOC and battery response time I have keep it as one second other thing is as it is uh, uh, just I have put the one small resistance drop of inductor 0 0.05 ohm and L and C value I have keep it as it is okay so this is the uh, L value C value everything now the control uh, block diagram is again the same reference value I am giving at 81 and I will compare it I have just taken it from here then one PI controller block what value I have used for PI controller so you just see it I have used the PE value as 0 0.01 and integral as 0 0.5 so what range I have given to you so based on that uh, typically those value if you consider your simulation will run uh, properly now this PWM generator block so uh, switching frequency 65 kilohertz so this is a shortcut uh, switch uh, PWM generator block in our previous MATLAB simulation what we have done we have uh, created this form with a small small blocks right how this will come and all then we compare it but uh, in MATLAB there is a provision there is a shortcut available PWM generator DC to DC so you can directly use it directly give the switching frequency and uh, automatically pulses will generate it okay so this is the thing so whatever the pulses will generate I am going to give it here okay and uh, the things which are going to measure is so I will see the SOC I battery V battery I naught I naught and I battery are opposite so I battery will flow like this upward direction and my I naught will be like this okay so they are in opposite so I naught equal to minus of I battery I will say so I will see what is my SOC and my V battery and uh, these are the different numerical value which I am going to display here okay now I will just run the simulation I will, I will show you so I had run the simulation for you so uh, after running the simulation you can see that my battery versus initially I have keep it as 85 right here I have uh, keep what value I have keep 85 now after uh, running the simulation for 10 seconds the my SOC will uh, go up to 85 point uh, 
uh, 28 so 0.28% my battery is charged more my battery current something is showing I have V battery voltage whatever I have uh, uh, set it here 81 that is only the maintained 81 and I not is opposite of the I battery right so now we will see in the scope that how my result are whether my uh, and we have learned in constant voltage mode that my battery voltage should be constant and my current should be decreasing in nature if whether the same pattern is followed or not we will see okay so i will just open the uh, this block so you can uh, see on the screen right so my soc is increasing in nature so it is from 85 so you will see that it is 85.3 it is going my battery current you will see that initial small transient is there after that my battery current uh, is uh, it is uh, looking like a constant but it is not constant i will zoom it then you will come to know that it is decreasing in nature similarly uh, my battery voltage so my battery voltage is kept constant so it is it it should be a constant right and my i naught is opposite of the battery voltage so i will just zoom this particular part so that you will know that this is a decreasing in nature so uh, it is decreasing meaning it will go up to above above right so you just see it i will just zoom it here so you can see that it is increasing in nature right so this is increasing in nature so you will see that look like a ramp which is going above right so this is increasing in nature increasing in nature meaning not increasing it is decreasing in nature but here look minus 110 then minus 109 so that is decreasing in nature right and my battery voltage if you see here so it is a constant in nature see it once okay so very less uh, disturbance is there 81.005 to 80.99 so that is acceptable if you see the battery output voltage that is i not equal to minus of i battery right so if you see here you will come to know that it is decreasing in nature and that is the thing we have learned right in this theory part so just see it once i will show you so that uh, you should know that whatever theory we have learned that is fine and that is correct so you can see here that it is decreasing in nature so uh, in this way uh, we can do this simulation right so i hope so you have seen all the things what we have done you have understood so with this uh, i will conclude this and uh, thanks thanks for watching in the next video we will simulate the constant current mode and uh, there i will tell you that what exactly happened in the constant current mode so my current should be constant and battery voltage should be build up okay and that is a fast mode and uh, and we will simulate it okay so i hope so you are enjoying this playlist and thanks thanks for watching if you have any feedback for me just give it to me in the form of comment so that i can improve and share with your friends so that uh, everyone gets benefit right so thanks thanks for watching